Hello viewers, I'm Paul White and welcome to Paul's Train Vlogs. Um, anyway viewers, um, I'll get in front of a camera to have a chat about International Day for People with Disabilities in just a moment. Um, anyway viewers, if you haven't yet subscribed to Paul's Train Vlogs, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And also don't forget to please ring the notification bell icon to receive notifications about my current and future releases and thank you for watching Paul's train vlogs course viewers um showing you guys first my impressive DVD and Blu-ray collection Do watch a a few movies every now and then when I'm not train spotting. Also, viewers, I also have a VHS collection as well. And some more of my. Of course, with Christmas just around the corner as well. Um, anyway, viewers, um, for Geraldine, like it's used to my cats, first one, this one here is Sara. She is 12 years old. See, nice and comfy underneath my... coffee table at the moment and this one over here this one is Sunny he has grown so much since I first introduced my uh, my furious to him back in 2022 yeah, it's grown so much over the past 12 months. This one, he likes burning down Christmas trees. So those are my cats. Um, anyway, viewers, um, I'm due for a haircut, by the way. <laughs> um, International Day for People with Disabilities has a few initiatives. Well, one of them is I showed you guys this last year. We might show it again. Is the Sunflower Landlord. You can pick this up at major railway stations. And this, this came in very handy when I was at Sydney Airport recently, ready to board my flight up to when I flew up to Brisbane in Queensland recently with them. Um, I decided to fly with Wex Airlines. Very, very good for a low cost carrier. And, and lucky I had press, received press license SMS from, from Wex informing about my about my flight flight details and cause what cause I cause I was originally planning to catch a later flight back down to Sydney, but I don't want to hang around the airport for all day. So they arranged to put me on an earlier flight, which is very, very good. Very nice. And at least I've afforded an hour and a half delay, which was averted. And anyway, viewers, the next episode I have a may see me behind the wheel of my own Hyundai i30 and I and I won't be holding the camera while driving at a time because it it is considered dangerous and 
and the new Barangaroo station is very, very good indeed. Can't wait to use train services for from Barangaroo coming in the new year. Uh, well, at least Sour and Sunny decided to play a little, little game called Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> um in rate viewers um my i am looking forward to covering my 1500th episode where i'll be traveling on sydney's iconic wet rattler f1 on a santa's vintage electric train that's why and maybe next week i'll be wearing probably wearing this shirt Christmas themed shirt seems to be appropriate because we, of course, Christmas is just literally around the corner. Um, so I'll be looking forward to covering my 1500th episode and the Santa's vintage electric train F1 tickets have officially sold out. Which means they got sold like hot cakes and was sold out 13 days prior to the event. Um, anyway, viewers, um, thank you for watching Paul's Train Vlogs. Um, don't forget to give the video the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and favorite the video. And I will catch you next time. Until we meet again, it's goodbye for now.